Hello, my friends. Welcome to Open Math Camp. We begin our series of tutorials on arithmetic, and our first tutorial is about numbers. We will talk about natural and integer numbers, rational and irrational numbers. We will learn how to write rational form of the number having its decimal form, and we will know what is the real numbers and real line. Let's get started. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp. Arithmetic is the science of numbers. Greek word arithmos means number, and arithmetic is about elementary properties and rules of calculations for numbers. For deep properties of numbers, we have a very important branch of mathematics called number theory. Let's begin with numbers. First of all, let's define what is the natural numbers. Natural numbers Natural numbers is the set of, in mathematics, these curly braces stand for the set of, set of. So natural numbers is the set of numbers 0, 1, 2, three, and so on. It's very important to understand that sometimes natural numbers are defined as the numbers one, two, three, and so on without zero, but I prefer to define natural numbers with zero. Natural numbers appeared when primitive man was counting his animals, cows, and other people, or even maybe wives. Maybe primitive man was counting his wives, telling I have no wife, I have one wife, two wives, three wives, and so on. Uh, next, let's talk about the concept of integer numbers, and let's define what is the integer numbers. Integer numbers, denoted as Z, integer numbers, is the set of numbers, like natural numbers, it also has 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, but beside, it also has negative numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. From the definition, we can see that every number in the set of natural numbers is inside the set of integer numbers. So, each element of natural numbers is inside integer numbers. That's why natural numbers is the subset of integer numbers. And in mathematics, we write that n natural numbers is the subset of integer numbers. And in mathematics, uh, this symbol stands for subset subset of natural numbers is the subset of integer numbers. Next, we define the concept of rational numbers. Rational numbers, denoted as Q, rational, rational numbers, is the set of numbers 
represented as p over q, where p is an element of integer numbers. Once again, in mathematics, this symbol stands for element of. So p is element of integer numbers, or p is integer, and q is natural. Once again, the set of rational numbers is the set where each element can be represented as a fraction p over q, where p is integer and q is natural. From definition, it's obvious that any element of the set of integer numbers, for example, 3, for example, 3 is inside, and 2 and minus 1, any element, is inside the set of rational numbers because we can write minus 3 as minus 3 over 1. So this is also rational numbers. And we can write that integer numbers is subset of rational numbers. Let's give an examples of integer numbers. Examples are, for example, 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2, 3 over 4, minus 3 over 4, 9 over 44, and so on. Uh, we have very important result for <clears throat> rational numbers. Let's write it result that let's talk about what is the decimal representation for example 1 over 2 has a decimal representation of the number 0 0.5 if you calculate using calculator and divide uh, and 1 over 2 will be 0 0.5 minus 1 over 2 is minus 0 0.5. 3 over 4 is 0 0.75 and this is minus 0 0.75 and this number is 0 0.20 45 45 45 and so on and here 45 will be the period. Take the calculator and check it. Um, so this is the decimal representation and the first case is that the result is that any rational number can be represented as a decimal number of two cases. And the first case, case is that it has a finite number of digits in its decimal representation. For example, 1 over 2 is 0 0.5, so it has one digit of the floating point, uh, 3 over 4 is 0 0.75, so it has two digits of the floating point, and so on. And uh, in the first case, any decimal representation of the rational number has um, finite number of digits in its decimal representation. The second case is that it can also have infinite number of digits in its decimal representation, like 9 over 44, which is 0 0.2045, 45, 45, and so on. And 45 is a period, so it has a infinite number of digits in its decimal representation, but it has a period. So these two cases are and only cases for rational numbers. Or we have finite number of digits in its decimal representation, or it's infinite, but we have a period. It's clear. Okay. Let's
let's assume a example example 